Hello, hello. How's it going? And yeah, there is. I don't know what the deal is with that. And yeah, I fixed the bit boss thing. I changed the form and now it's all like messed up everywhere. But anyways. Uh, we were right here last time, so... But anyways, how's it going, everybody? What? October 13th, 1936. 19, why did I say 19? 936. Reminds you of Back to the Future. Why does it remind you of Back to the Future? Actually, you know what? Don't tell me. Don't tell me that. Hey, Nick. I know, right? It's still not in. But hello, everybody. Hope you're having a good night. Uh, hey, listen. Thank you for the host, OP, and Sivia, and Reborn. I appreciate it. And... I think that's pretty much it. Don't know how long this will go, because I don't know how long this trial is going to be. But we'll see what happens. Thank you for the 600 bits, Truzakage. I appreciate it. I forgot I said that. Let's test out your bit, boss. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Thank you for the 600 bits. Yeah, off it goes. I know. It's still kind of messed up. That was from Hero Academia. Academia? Acad Academia? I don't know. My Hero Academia, yeah. Got All Might saying, oh my goodness. That goes off whenever it's 300 above, I think. I don't really have a reason for that. But anyways, hey Nick, what is it? Something wrong? Yeah, you see all the people here? It's crazy. Oh, look at this. I bought Master Mask pu Publicity Photo. You bought that? Where? And how? From the little tents outside the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. You know I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Really? Well, that's a good reason to get into it. All Might is pretty great. Oh, right. I forgot about this guy. Uh, doing voices is going to be tough, but... Come on, I'm guilty. Look at me. Or throw the book at me. Hey, Mr. Meeseek, look at me. That's what I just accidentally did. Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it! Yeah, I did. Doesn't look like things are going any less ugly for you. Because I did it! I'm the criminal! Me, me, me! Look at me! Said it again. I sent the calling card to Lord Lee Taylor. I admit it! But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true. But that doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally when I say, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you, yikes. Anyways, I admit that I'm guilty. Make sure they give me a guilty verdict. Please. But well, there you are, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, Desi, honey, bonjour. Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at this time like this. Leave it all to me, Ronnie. I swear I'll protect you. Um, uh, uh well, uh, you see, you're actually the thief. Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I can tell you, I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he's declared guilty, I'll be ever so cross with you. I'll cross you off my list. Why are you smiling when you say that? Well, if you excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nicky boy. Good luck. What if she ends up being the thief? That wouldn't make any sense, though. I really don't know whether Ron is masked to mask or not. But one thing I am sure of... Doesn't have the sacred urn right now. Mr. Delight, time for you to enter the courtroom. I'm the bailiff. I get to talk like once every game. Time being, I guess I'll trust Desiree. Or Desiree. It was Desiree, I think. Oh, well, there he is. There's the guy. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. 
defense is ready, Your Honor. What about the prosecution? Are you prepared? I don't know how to do an OP voice. What a stupid question. Fine, let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? Uh, well, no, I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's a rule to live by. Yeah, that's true. He'll probably object to something. Um, who are you? I'm Goda, legendary prosecutor. I've never lost a case. You know, last time someone said that to me, they lost the case. It's the one that Detective Atme was talking about. Yes, your reputation precedes you. Good though, but that sounds so dumb. <laughs> what kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Huh, <laughs> none. Oh, well, I guess if you never take any, you always... You never win or never lose. I've never prosecuted a case before. Ever. You said you've never lost before. Exactly. I've never lost. I've never won before either. God dot yes. Hello, Gob. How's it going? Fine, arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of redwoods begins their lives as a mere sapling. Yes, but a mask in a court of law? Ha! Huh. Don't you know anything? I'm one of the X-Men. No matter the man, we all wear masks, either on our faces or over our hearts. That is the real deal, all right, Nick. It seems like all prosecutors are the real deal. Then we finally meet, Mr. Phoenix Trite. Nick, is he a friend of yours? No, I don't have any friends. They call me Trite. <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to end that sentence with, I don't have any friends. Who is this masked man? I have returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. Well then, pr Prosecutor Gobo. It's not Gobo, it's Godo. Your Honor. In any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. Uh, what is it? Are you familiar with the saying a chain is only as strong as, the weak as its weakest link? I wonder, how much can you withstand before you and your case break in two? Uh... <laughs> Let's hear from the first witness. Oh, it's you, pal. Uh, my name is... No one's asked for your name, witness. Er... The important thing is what you know, that's all. Start talking. We're listening. Uh, yeah, sure, pal. Alright, witness, first. <laughs> I don't know your name, but let's hear about... What do you know about the thief that stole the urn? Yes, sir! Master Mass Crimes. Master 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 Thief, pal! I first started a crime speed about six months ago. He still have confidence since he calling card before he even commits the crime. That was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card to Lordly Taylor. Don't even know who that guy is, though. Patterns always go after the only most precious art pieces, huh? Alright, pal? Bye's. I were sure his master master fits his MO to a T. Even though there's not a T in there. Actually, I didn't even know the master mask is. Mr. Godot, you! Oh, okay. Well, there's a copy now. We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godo. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please, proceed. Uh, okay. It's only coffee after all. What? Can't we let him slide this early in the trial? <laughs> See with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Well, Nick, what are you gonna do? One of them brought up De Mr. Delight's identity. All we can do is show that it wasn't Master Mask who sold the urn. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, we have had a parrot. 
and a metal detector. And a little girl that turned into like a 20 year old and like, you know, a fan of like five seconds. But anyways. So, you know, I guess comparing it to all those and a whip. Yeah, that's fair. But, you know, whip is normal, obviously. I've been involved with the investigation from the beginning. Yep, no one knows anything more about the thief than me, pal. It's true. I'm a Zavari. A th author on thieves. What? Author? He's written books about thieves? I think he probably meant to say authority. Oh. Ah. Hey, this guy can slip through even my fingers. Shows how good he is, pal. Easy to win this. Uh. Press harder. Nobody knows more about the thief than you, huh? You got it, pal. Except for maybe Thief's mom, that is. I don't know about that. And there's someone who knows more about him in, than the police. You don't mean Detective Zavari, do you? Who is this person? Zavari? Sounds German. His name is Luke Atme, sir. I guess I shouldn't have made up such a silly name for him. What the heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyways, Troy did manage to retrieve the last th item the thief stole. Oh, I see. Seems you're not the expert you claim to be. Uh, wow. Look at that thief is paying with me, even now. So now we got look at me on the field. Do I keep pressing all of these? I guess so. Have you seen all of these so-called calling cards? Of course I have. Except, the person in charge of the treasure exhibit never brought their card to the police. So I didn't see this one until after the crime occurred. The detective at me stopped Miss Andrews from talking to the police. Was the calling card Lord Lee Taylor received authentic? Well, all the cards have one common identifying feature. We're not releasing that information to the general public. You can absolutely be certain that this card is real. I can't say it out loud, but anybody's talking about the Master Mass emblem. Yep. I guess we are in the public, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna skip that one. I don't really care about that one. Alright, hold it. The urn is not precious. Art pieces, like what, for example? Now, the first target was the famous tear of uh, Emmanon. Emmanon, I don't know. Tear of something. Someone cried. Some kind of especially salty teardrop? Uh, no, sir. It's a blue diamond, a single rare diamond. Next was the crown of Bongora. You know, the thing you put on your head. You know, not the one you draw with or anything. After that was the left hand of Hades, and well, you know, that killed somebody. But then there was the portrait of Magina, sir. Detective Atme retrieved the portrait of Magina and returned it to the museum. The target of his fifth and last robbery was the Sacred Urn, right? Isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such a famous art pieces? Oh, I assume he must have some underworld connections. Connections. Oh, Mr. Delight doesn't look like the type. He really doesn't. <laughs> He's a little too signed hanging out in the underworld. It's more like he would get destroyed down there. He, they would get everything. Yeah, I know. But everyone confuses them with crowns all the time. Hold it. What do you mean when you say it fits his M.O. to a T? I was thinking of asking the same thing myself. Why didn't you then? Yeah, I wish you would listen to more closely, pal. First of all, there's a calling card. 100% certain it's authentic. There's the fact that you seem to know all about the security system. And finally, his target was an art piece. These are all part of the theme modus operandi. Uh, please speak English. And also, since this robbery seems to fit all those conditions... That's right! Means that Master Mask is behind it! Definitely looks like it was Master Mask who sold the earring. No real evidence either way to whether Rod and Delight is Master Mask. But, also, the earring hasn't turned up yet, let alone in connection to Mr. Delight himself. And then we know Master Mask did it. We try to show it wasn't Master Mask that did it. So... What exactly do we do to show that it wasn't him? Hmm. Maybe there's something wrong with the emblem? Let's see...
Mine purple. The emblem is white and black, but this could just be the lighting. Because everything else is kind of purple, too. I don't know. There's something weird, but I don't know if I can really call on that yet. It has no monetary value. So maybe that's it. I can show him anything. Press most precious pictures of art. I don't want to take a hit here, but I think if I go, hey, this urn is pretty worthless. Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Looks like I was on the money since the music stopped. Just hearing... Just hearing little on that question is making me nervous. Sadly, like he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. There's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. Supposedly, priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. But what do you mean? How could you say such a terrible thing? No, I meant it from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price, because it's a crappy urn. And also, it's spelt wrong. Oh, Professor Godo? What's the value of that urn? The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it. And I mean that in the worst sense. So in other words, it's not the kind of item Mask to Mask would normally go after. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, probably. I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright. Saying the theft of the cigarette urn was not the work of Mask to Mask. Y yeah, that's what I'm saying. Actually, all I do is point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Hmm, well, first of all, we need to get the issue cleared up. Was the last... Was this last robbery the work of Mask to Mask or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Godo? I guess I should have expected this. This coffee here. It's my own special blend. I call it Godo 107. I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the audacity... Acidity? Yeah. Acidity? Or the bitterness. That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now, Mr. Trite. What? If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. So I'm sorry, but I don't get what you mean. You're saying it wasn't Master Mask that stole the urn. Then it must be someone imitating Master Mask's method. It's a fake. Fake Master Mask. Fake to mask? That sounds so ridiculous, but I like it. Why'd you get another one? You didn't even finish the first one. That's a waste of coffee. Now before I decide on my coffee, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared at Lordly Tatas that night was actually a fake. Hmm. I want to drink this coffee. I'll we'll prove Mr. Godot's behavior. His point is valid. You have no proof he did. Also, the cup disappeared. Well, Mr. Wright, I expected him to call me Mr. Trite at least once this case. So I'm going to have to prove it. He proved that the first in Lorley Taylor that night was, in fact, fake master mask. Proof that it was fake. Proof that it was fake. The emblem wouldn't be a good one. Hmm. Is there any big contradictions in these photos? Well, I got my badge! Glad to hear it. Hmm. Wait a second. Oops. Clicked off the screen. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing I want to run by you guys real quick while I'm looking at this. Do you prefer this or that? Because we can make it really small so you can kind of see everything better. Or we can keep it really stretched out. Oops. Wrong one. 
just ignore that. Yeah, just ignore that one, because they're all in a line. I kind of clicked on the wrong one. Bigger is better. I think for this part, at least, it will be. That's why I set them on separate things. Okay. But anyways. Okay, the big sun thing in the middle of his chest is missing. I think that's probably the only thing I've really got to go on for. So... I guess I present this? Whoa, what was that? That was weird. Uh... Yeah, I guess I was given the security camera. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I didn't click off or anything, so... I mean... Use my legitimate DS. Alright, here we go. Proof is right here. This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. But if you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar, peculiar about it. Ha! Ah. Well then, why don't you go ahead and show us what it is? Go on, use this pointer and show us just what about this picture is so peculiar. Right here, I guess. Right here, of course. You mean, Master Mask? I have here a piece of- wait, what am I pointing with? Oh well. Piece of reference I would like to, the court to look at that I totally didn't just buy from out there. Not the publicity photo I bought this morning, like 10 seconds ago. Problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on Mass to Mass chest. A breach? Here? Bailiff, get my steed! We need to retreat at once! What? A brooch, your honor. It's like a clasp but holding on one's cape. Class, eh? Ah, I see now. Okay. Judge the best. But the master mask guy and security camera photo pal. Ah, he's not wearing one. He has no brooch. That brooch is the same emblem on master on Damascus' calling card and serves as his symbol. Why did you just say that, Phoenix? The thief that broke into Lordly Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, the master mask is a fake. I've been fooled again, no! How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. This is true, undeniably true. Detective Gumshoe, how how could you overlook this? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I... Oh, okay. Another... Hey, now. If you're gonna have a pity party, invite me too. I pity all of you fools. Mr. Goda, you deserve some of the blame on this too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Who said he did? Brooch you're talking about? Do you mean this? Ah, that's Master Mask Brooch. Where'd you find it? I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. And you know, just kind of grabbed it. It was hidden in the shadow of a female Buddha statue. Well, the statue of Amy. Why don't you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence in my pocket. You know, like a thief. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. Got one cool customer. It's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little lady? I think that might be the first time they've really acknowledged her. That friend of yours left a pretty little hickeys on there, too. Hickeys? Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm referring to Ron Delight's fingerprints. What? Heard of wrestler's quotes, what? Mr. Goto, let's see that brooch. I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here, even though it's probably a guy. Take good care of her. She, I mean, it appears to have been torn off some clothing. Oh, right. I said that, didn't I? A little bit of cloth left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Uh-oh. Phoenix, we have a problem. Ah, you messed with Godot. 
And you get the dodo. Oh, I mean, you get burned. They're playing me like a violin. Mafia local dragon says hi. Mafia hope you like. I don't. Mafia's a punk. Well, judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Huh? Done with me? Well, I haven't proven anything yet, pal. You've proven your own incompetence. That's good enough. That doesn't sound good at all, pal. Bailiff, bring the next witness to the courtroom. But hi, Dragon. How's it going? Hope you're having a good night. Finally time for Ace Detective to make his appearance, huh? Conan, my arch rival. Oh, wait, it's you. One second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry up. <laughs> now I see, it's all becoming quite clear. What's clear? Zavari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac at that. Am I correct? Well, yes, that's right. That's very obvious. Ha! Huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. You're the first person's ever been to penetrate my sacred veil. Well, sir, prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Look at Me. Look at Me. Ace detective and rising star illuminating the heavens. Boy, these two make a perfect pair. They'd be best friends or they tear each other's heads off. Apparently they're best friends. Heard you were night of the crime, you were alone in the security detail. You have heard correctly. My specialty main monocle is worth more than a hundred Detective Gumshoes. If Detective Gumshoe is worth anything, that is. Or Gumshoe. Why is this guy all by himself, anyway? Must be some reason, I'm sure of it. Well then, tell us what this special monocle of yours witnessed. It was approximately 1 o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed, if you know how to tell time, that is. That's when I witnessed my nemesis, the infamous Master Mask, d d dancingly descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes after, I used the emergency phone, emergency phone to notify the police. My specialty main monocle never misses a thing. However, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. In which case, the monocle has nothing to do with this. But of course, that's only natural. I fail to see why the witness seems so proud of his performance that evening. Well, sir, old-timer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any ordinary thief, but of the king of thieves. The great master mask, my arch enemy. That's what my instincts and years of experience tell me. Very well. Proceed with a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Please don't let me listen to this guy any further. Hmm. Hold it! That would be 1 o'clock in the morning of the 12th, correct? That's an impressive deduction, sir, lawyer. It's almost like you can tell time. I was security to let detail that night. Where were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Near the computer, huh? You are trying to remain hidden, I take it? Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. That's the same thing yesterday, too. Never saw him at the crime scene. Precisely! That is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. I knew that by not concealing myself, I would be putting pressure on the thief. The thief is the one applying pressure on your pigeony head, that is. Wow. In any case... That does mean he was there when we arrived, but whatever. Dancingly descended? From where exactly? Well, from the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone please save me. <laughs> um, so how is it that you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking at the thief's shadow, my ears listened for his footfalls. But even so, the dastardly criminal managed to sneak up on me. Through a door. And only due to his subtly camouflaged cape and soft soled shoes. By W. Ace Dunce. To Luke? Uh. 
Yeah, he has very tiny fingers. You can see the criminal's face when that happened? Well, that is the difficult part. How should I put it? I saw his mask, that's all I can recall. Hmm, that's not very solid as far as testimony goes. However, fortunately I had a third monocle. The security camera at the ready. That's not what that means, but okay. It captured his image perfectly. This should be sufficient, I believe. As long as this photo is authentic, I don't see a problem here, even though we've seen it already. Well, Mr. Goda, do you have a problem with the photo? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's continue with the testimony. I was expecting him to say something. I'm just gonna drink this. Okay. Hold it. Attacked and knocked unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing? That's certainly some very impressive detective work. <laughs> well, sir lawyer, have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Huh? Uh, well, actually, yes. By a fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, that happened, didn't it? And what happened? I was knocked out. <laughs> and you lost your memory, too. You see, you have no right to look down on me, then, do you? The reason I didn't lose my memory is because I have more brains to begin with. He yeah, brains, but he's wiring to the self-reflection part. Seems to be served. In any case, that was how I was knocked senseless. And then... Hold it. About this 30 minutes. My silver cord was loosened and my soul fled to the golden halls of... Ilsium? As usual, I have no idea what this guy is saying. I think he's saying he was out cold. But I don't actually know. What happened during these 30 minutes? No one can say, Your Honor. That spent of time has truly vanished into ether. What is this guy talking about? That bitch is about Detective Atme. How did he not have noticed when the thief came in? Also, he says he was knocked unconscious before he was could fight back, but that can't be right. It contradicts the evidence. Huh? Which piece? The real question is, why would he tell such an obvious lie? Okay, so if I had to guess, it would be this. Objection! Oh, wait, no, I guess not. I think I'm on the money, but I, once again, I'm not sure exactly what they want me to do. Ow. But that's our first hit. Whoops, that didn't go so well. Actually, let's check the time on this. Maybe that's what we need to check out. What's around 90... 1 a.m. This is 58. That's alright. So what does it want me to say? Yeah, I'm assuming that the 58 means... No, he was definitely through the door already. So if the 58 means he was... Before 1 a.m. So I guess I say this? I just don't know what the game wants me to say, because I got like three different things that pointed him. 
but... Nope, that's not it. They aren't, are they? Nope, not at all. Please take the facts over before making accusations. It is barely before one, but he said... I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they do. See, what do we need then? I think him getting hit on the head is what they're looking for here, but I'm not entirely sure what exactly they want me to say, or where to say it. I guess we can say this, actually. It was torn off his clothing, but he said he didn't land a single strike. So how would this get torn off? I don't know. One thing I'm going to do real quick, though. Just on the off chance we lose. <laughs> Just in case, we, so we don't have to go through all that again. There we go. There we go, I found it. You take a look at this with a special monocle of yours. Aha! This belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis, Master Mask. It's not cheating, I'm just making sure. Like, we can save any time we want, but then it makes us go to the main menu. So. It is, in fact, Master Mask's brooch. Found on the floor of the basement warehouse. Warehouse. Warehouse? Wonder how that happened. Oh. Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of being ripped off a piece of clothing. Yeah, it does, but I don't know. Some of the scenes are kind of like just no, you failed. <laughs> Some of the scenes are just no, be quiet, man. You're you're dumb. You can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night. Only thing I could think of. Only one person that was in position to have struggled with the thief. And that was you, detective at me. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, no. He struggled with his own insecurity. Yeah. You must have fought with the thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness, giving false testimony is a serious crime. Uh, I, uh, n no, uh, wait, wait just a moment, sir, old timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living in a nursing home. <laughs> I just remembered, your honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. True measure of a man is about the work, amount of work he does. That's what I always say. You only handle one case at a time, isn't that right? You talk too much. Witness, so you're not saying you and the thief fought? Hold on. That's quite enough, Your Honor. Excuse me? I got another cup of coffee. Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I, look at me, agree completely. Ow. Indeed, it is true that I have looked away from the door for a brief moment. However, look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed my weapon, grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. A true gentleman only fights with his fists, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true, and then... BAM! That's all she wrote. In the end, you did catch a glimpse of mass to mass. Correct! It was doing his third crime that he struck me from behind. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Well, certainly understandable. I, myself, only get confused when testimony goes on which case. That that can't be good. How many cases does he do at one time? Because that could be important. Hmm. I 
think we need to do the we the weapon now. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, the thief had no idea that I, look at me, was hiding in that area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door warehouse. Sword? You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Fortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. And also, it was barely a blade. He is talking about that thing. Because I don't know how to say. The thief armed himself with a sword. And what about yourself, witness? Hmm. The only problem with that is the sword was all the way across the room. Why'd you look away from the door? In addition to the camera, I'd prefer to a variety of other sensors as well. The alarm on one of those had gone off, so I had to check the data. That's why I went to the computer. Elegantly, of course. Momentarily vulnerable when you're working on the computer. What should I do? Should I ask some more questions? Uh, about the sensor. I have the first time I've heard about that. What kind of sensors are you talking about? There are places in the basement that someone could either enter or exit from. There's an air conditioner, ducts, sewer pipes, and a cap door as well. I hooked up heat detecting, infrared, and ultraviolet sensors to each of them. That's a lot of hardware. Was it all yours? Lordly Taylor Department Store was kind enough to provide the monitoring hardware. Naturally, the security camera that took the photo belongs to them as well. In other words, he couldn't have rigged the equipment, huh? I mean, he probably could have. <laughs> Has it cleared up any doubt you had about me, Sir Lawyer? No. Hold it. Um, what does that mean? Discombobulated? Hmm. Young people these days, they really irritate me. Not perfectly good old words die until everyone forgets what they mean. Sorry, but what exactly does it mean? Now I forgot. What was I saying? And old people forget what they were saying five seconds ago. Well, looks like we've cleared that up. You can go on with your testimony. He didn't even say anything in regards to that. He's used the word and he didn't answer at all. How rude. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, the thief had no idea that Lu I, Luke at me, was hiding in that area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door of the warehouse. Sword? Hmm. Hmm. He said beside the warehouse, but it wasn't there, was it? Hmm. Oh well. Fancy for disoriented? I guess so, yeah. You had them that much faith in your own fighting abilities? But of course! In college, I was the second in charge of the boxing club. Sorry if I failed, that if, if I failed to find that appropriately impressive. However, my opponent in this ring was my arch nemesis, Mask the Mask. Hmm. Hold it. Tell us a little bit more about what happened. My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powerish. Power. He, I assumed the at me fighting stance, but all the sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent had bested me. What do I do now? Should I ask more about this? You were blinded. What was this flash of light that blinded you? I was bathed in a golden light that seemed to come from the statue of the woman. Fade, I'm guessing. That wasn't very much help at all. What do you think, Nick? Well, there's only one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah? What is it? It's Luke at me, guy. He's definitely hiding something. But why? Hmm. I guess I would say that this was moved so he couldn't have grabbed the sword, because it was across the room. Hmm. Nope, I guess not. 
Guess we're gonna ignore the fact that it's across the room, but whatever. Yeesh. Darn at me, guy. Oh, wait. He said he was hit by the in the back, so how did he... Hmm, was it this one? I'm, I'm gonna ask about his fighting style. What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that is a trade secret. I really can't say any more, but I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. There we go. That's it? That's the at me fighting style? Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, what about the testimony? Of course it's important. We learn a detective's secret technique, after all. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone at late at night. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? Creeping me out. Why does everyone hate Nick? We'll go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. Objection! There we go. Remember to press everything. You need to get back into the groove of testing every possibility. Your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. And I and we're all out of aces. What fun this is, Sir Lawyer! It's truly a pleasure to cross swords with you! And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. This is what you said yesterday. No, the coward must have warmed his way through somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. From behind, huh? But just now you testify that he struck you on the forehead. I hardly think you can forget where you hit on the head. Uh, uh, duh, I was... Seems I've made another mistake. I totally wasn't lying. Tech that. that's not the only strange part of your testimony. What do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hid the calling card from the police itself is strange. It's almost as if... You were afraid they were going to help with security. Geniuses such as myself have always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. Objection. To err is human, to forgive divine. Humans aren't machines, they have souls and feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. Objection, that has nothing to do with what I was saying. Not as pretty as that. Coffee slap? Really? What is it like then? Always chase a riddle down to the end, that's one of my rules. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. What exactly that you're asserting. Hmm. Hmm. I want to say that he is... I want to say that he is Master Mask. I'm gonna say he's a master mask, because I'm pretty sure about that. It's simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Lou Atme's true identity is actually Master Mask! Yeah. Order in the court! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. It says that he was hiding at the crime scene, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then in his latest case, in his last case, he managed to outform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to move miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. Th that's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at a... No, that's not how that works. Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, Detective Atme. Truth is that you are, in fact, Master Mask. But this is right, this photo. This clearly shows Master Mask. Dirty camera belongs to the Lordly Taylor department store. You shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. You need to manipulate it. 
gain access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Simply dressed as a thief and stole the urn. Ace Detective is actually an ace thief. The perfect disguise. Is this true? <laughs> of course not. Hee <laughs> hee hee. Ha ha ha. Oh, jeez. Damas Mimo is pure genius, and so am I. Look at me, ace detective. You're so very clever to come to such a conclusion. I am very impressed, sir lawyer. When this you, you're admitting it? Nick, now's your chance. Yes, time to put the nail in this guy's coffin. Detective Abbott, when you assume the thief's Objection. identity. Objection. I was wondering when he was going to do something. And now there's coffee on my face. That's extremely hot coffee. Go dot Blin 102. My personal favorite. How does it feel, Phoenix? Hot enough for you? Hot enough like the flames of your name? The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. In fact, I'm pretty sure I read that one last week. Only one problem. It simply isn't true. This rise made some pretty strong points, and I... I will admit my opponent's woven a compelling narrative of the whole, out of whole cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a patchwork quilt. Mr. Trite. If this detective really is a thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it better be as hot and perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. Eh. Oh, just stand there. Clean off your face. Decisive proof that you have quickly. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Are you alright, Nick? Amy looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can. Can I really do it? Size of evidence. I don't think I have it. I think we need... We have evidence that proves what's-his-name isn't Master Mask. But I don't think we have anything about the guy right here. Yet to be found. Of course, I, I've got nothing. Ha! <laughs> Just what I thought. Man has to hold his head hot pie no matter how bad things get, after all. I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. Good, I've got to stay on the attack. Never get another chance to prove that this guy is a thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. It's not ready yet. I'm gonna just give up and let us lose this? So you've come to your senses, have you, sir lawyer? I uh, can't think of the counterattack at all. There's the, the bag, obviously, but whatever. Mr. Godot, get anything to add, then hold it. What? Who? Oh, hey, Desiree. Desiree. Who are you? That doesn't really matter now, does it? Miss Desiree, what are you doing here? Nicky boy, the thing you've been looking for. I think I found it. Oh, thanks. I was actually looking for that. No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well, that's the sacred urn. Why does it say Amy? That's not right. It's supposed to say I am. Order in the court. You, madam. That urn, where'd you find it? I never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants Ace Detective. Look at me. Oh, Desi, you're the best. Why does it say Amy, though? Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Atme? Even you're going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Objection. Ha! Huh. Pathetic. Mr. Godot, you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. Still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? Or casting up aspersions at the Detective Atme? Consider the young lady here. Name is Desiree. Desiree Delight. Is that correct? Yes, sir. What about it? Okay, who's giving him this coffee? Ah, how charming. The links that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. What, what are you insinuating? As a wife of the criminal, you could have discovered the stolen urn animal anywhere. Include the office as a good detective here. That's not wrong, but also where'd the detective go? So you found the urn. What does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. I'm gonna take a picture. I just brought it here from the detective's office. 
Please, madam. This town's already filled to the brim with lies. Any more can only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. You're wrong. I would never, I would never do such a thing. This delight. Please, Dicky boy. You gotta help me talk some sense into these people. Must be some way. I gotta prove that everyone was actually in the Atme Detective Agency. Yeah? He's a phoenix, so he's on fire, right? Okay, so... Yeah... That are the fingerprints. That's what I was thinking too, is I did see it, but the fingerprints might be better. But he also wears gloves all the time, so... I don't know. I'll testify, why not? What's wrong? Isn't it your job to come up with something to say? Nick, come on. It should be easy to prove. After all, we checked out that bag, didn't we? Right, I remember doing that. Whatever was in there was hard and round. Like a bowling ball. Yes, it must have been the urn, it must have. But I never actually saw it with my own eyes. Abby walked in just when we were about to have a look at it. Even if it was there, and I can't testify that it was. Back, you're right. Huh. Looks like I was wrong about you, Mr. Trite. Also about your name. In this town overflowing with lies, there's still a single flickering candle of truth. Nicky boy. Now that's why I never actually saw the urn. Maybe I can still testify about it from another angle. What about it, Mr. Wright? Have you given up yet? Must be some way. Okay, so... Fingerprints? I can prove where the urn was by the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come on now. Also, where did the girl go? Now you're really making me laugh so long. Your fingerprints, indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who were guarding the urn at the first place. In any case, I am always on the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So, unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? When his fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Hmm, come too far. Go back now. Brought the urn back to his office yesterday. There, I'm sure someone must have left fingerprints on it. Uh. Wait. I touched it, didn't I? What is all this fuss of fingerprints anyways? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I touched it. He said it was hard and round just now. Can't we just open up private property? Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is important investigation. Well, it's in there. Hang on a sec. I'm ta taking it out now. Feels kinda hard and smooth. Well, hello there. Dance, 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 dance. Oh yeah, I changed the dance command for Sapphire. She turns into an elephant now. True, I didn't get the chance to look at the bag at the time, but I did touch what was inside. What? You touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Like a bowling ball. Uh, well, that was just, uh... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. Fingerprints are on there. Proves that the urn was Detective Atme's office, kind of. Objection. Well, even if your fingerprints are on the air, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What, what did you say? Not what I said, it's what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of ex exposition, said. I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. I failed completely. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. Ha! <laughs> this blip, Godot Blin 107. I've decided. It's a little too bitter after all. And then my face started smoking. Bad for your health, you know? I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and. Wait! Wait a moment, Your Honor. There is no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. 
I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. What are you saying? Finally broken him down. Uh, that's not good. He, does he crack? Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my Jesus, I was forced to create one all by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. That is nuttier than a fruitcake. They don't even have nuts in them. You see, it was me all along. I am the one and only Mask the Mask. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my little performance. <laughs> Do they? I never had a fruit cake. Great. Cake. Because every time I see fruit cakes on like cartoons and whatnot, everyone just goes, "No, these are awful. You don't want them." Or they're used as weapons. One of the two. I'm like, I don't want a fruit cake. Well, Mr. Godo, what's Mr. Hatme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. Wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Looks like matter has been settled. Do not mail me a fruitcake. <laughs> I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. I guess Mr. Light really wasn't the thief. Court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Hold it. You're wrong. Wrong, I tell you. It, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but actually not right is what I was trying to say. Oh no, he's not. Can't be happening. The thief. Sneaky, obvious, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me. I'm him. I'm the one you want. I'm the thief, I tell you. So do it. Presounce me guilty, please. Even Goto was just like, I don't what the heck are you talking about? I don't know what kind of kangaroo court you all think this is, but objection. Right any thief has already been proven. Please hurry up and pass judgment. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. Oh jeez. Mr. Goto, don't just stand there drinking coffee. Ha! <laughs> hey there, Mr. Thief. Yes, yes, sir. If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have the, any idea what you mean. I'm not a man. If you really are master mask, then prove it. That's what this means. Yes, sir. I'd be happy to. Be happy to, Nick. It's kinda cute. He's 100% committed just to his fantasy. Good boy. Just remember one thing. The boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. Yes, I know that. I won't fail, I swear. Alright then, talk. We're all listening. Oh well. So I'll have to listen to this confession. Why do we need to prove this? At me already committed, or confessed. I've been masked to mask this whole time. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually masked to mask, can you? I don't have an alibi the night of the urn was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you can see right here in the photo. That's me. As for my brooch, I stacked it on the door handle and it got torn off, that's all. We already know that's not true. Jeez. I don't like the direction this trial was taken. That's how every trial goes. At least with me, anyway. At least there's not a parrot here. Well, sorry to hear that, Cobb, but have a good night. Uh. Dancingly descend into things, re OP. I believe it. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Goda. Godo. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only gonna get one chance to testify, alright? Make it through with flying colors, I'll keep my promise too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true Master Mask. Thanks so much, Mr. Godo. I'll do my best to prove the fact that I'm a criminal. Never mind the fact that it would ruin my wife's light life. Alright, Mr. Wright, time for your cross-examination. Why does this always happen to me? I made my mistakes. Let's see here. Well, 
what's my take on all this? Like, on all what? Well, this guy seems to be completely crazy. I called at me being the criminal from the get-go, though, so that was fun. Because, you know, like, when this game was made, it probably wasn't a cliche, but at this point, it's pretty much a huge cliche. Where, like, there's this one guy that can capture this phantom thief every time. It's like, yeah, obviously they're the same person. Uh, so far it's interesting, but it's also kind of just people being dumped. <laughs> Especially this guy. I don't know if I like this guy. Godo's okay. He kind of doesn't talk enough, but... You know. Yeah, that's fair. Got no alibi. You're ugly. Hey, hey, you're ugly. First time I've ever heard of a defendant about brag about having no alibi. I tell you, I was in Lordly Taylor that night. Er, uh, no. That's too vague, even for me. Be more precise, I was down in the basement. Where else? Hold on. What is it, Nick? Where was Ronda Light when the crime happened anyway? You can prove that he had an alibi after all in this case to be a piece of cake. Uh, well, you're right, but... Ha! Huh. You think you can prove that? Wake up and smell the coffee. All 15 cups I got here. I think maybe I can. Any evidence shows he has an alibi? I think I do. There's a record when it's used, but we don't have that record. Okay, I guess it would have to be that, because that's the only thing I have. Yeah, I have evidence. I have the evidence. Or do you think I'm still some sort of third-rate rookie? Oh, I've never seen you so angry before. I'm not surprised. Anger is the last refuge of the pathetic. What, as an emote, the please? I was more confident than angry, but okay. Alright, let's see the evidence already. Show this color evidence proves where your client was on the night of the crime. You what felt off? Take that. Take that. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah, yeah, it does. I had lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Uh, no, no, you don't understand. A policeman actually did give us to us. This is an important piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you lost your wallet? Uh, uh, let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime. But I know I still had it when... Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you're not serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. This proves that Mr. Delight was, in fact, at KB Security that night. No! I'm the thief, I tell you. Send me to prison! So if the defendant was at KB Security 1 o'clock in the morning... That proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering the only distance between Lord the Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car. According to Larry, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Sivia. In that coffee. Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. Hmm. I'm gonna be right back real quick. I really need to use the bathroom. Also, I'm out of water, so be right back.
I have returned. Also, what? One who calls me Miss Thief. Wait, you're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Goda. Godo. All right, I'll try. I'll do it. I will. Really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Hey, it's like a kid of the first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have to drop my wallet at KP Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like that I was there and not the heist. Planted there? He's really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? Keycard to KP Security's CEO office. No! Ha! Huh. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. It's just that me watched. What? I'm very confused. Why would this thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night, anyway? Well, Mr. Wright, looks like you need some evidence after all. Stupid kid. <laughs> oh, okay. Evidence that shows why Mr. Light went to KB Security at 1 a.m. that night. Um. I guess this? Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? And I just kind of stole it from your house. Ah, uh, that's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. B blackmail? Yes, basically it says bring $50,000. Hmm, that certainly sounds like blackmail, all right? At the time of the theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself in KB Security CEO office, a full half an hour away from the scene of the crime. Ugh, this coffee is smoking. No. Order in the court. When the theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. Looks like the perfect case for the defense. Objection. You may all see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me. Well, let's just say my Godop Lin 107 impresses me a lot more. What are you trying to say? Say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company. But did you actually investigate this CEO at all? I don't even know his name. No, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure what I think of that. I'm not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Yeah, boy, I'm not sure what I think about myself. I think the defendant entered the CEO's office. But you need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. You have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trite? Someone else who can testify. This is the person who testified the card was used at 1 a.m. that night. What's your name? If you mean Godo, then yes, probably. Hmm. He leaves a... Oh, nice, dragon. Do I say that, or do I say Larry? Hmm. I guess the key card, right? Is a record when used? Do I have the record? Because I don't know the CEO, do I? Well, I have two hits left, so... coffee blending game, that would be pretty funny. But, you'd have to have uh, Godo as like the main character. Do I say Larry or do I say...
card key itself. Because I don't have the record. Hmm. I really don't know. I guess I do have two hits, so... They do say person, so I kind of want to say Larry. Larry? Who was this useless looking young man? Wow! You don't remember him, Your Honor. It was two years ago. He was still useless back then. Not exactly. Look at this picture. Makes me want to... Makes the bile start to rise in my throat. Jeez, Judge. I look like you remember the case from two years ago. Probably blocked out that memory on purpose. I was working in the guards to keep you security that night. Oh? The question at hand is... This key card. Yep, that's the key card in the building I work at. According to the serial number, one of the CEO's office. You need to get into that room every time you use the card. It leaves a record. You know, Phoenix? Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Super savage. Bang. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. You'll discover its truth by simply analyzing the key card's data. Blah. <laughs> okay. That's a waste of coffee, Godo. Didn't really expect the trial to take so long. Well, Mr. Godo, name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the key card data. Here. So what does it show? Each key card has its own serial number and they leave the detailed records of their use. According to this data, the car was used at 1 a.m. in the morning of the crime. Hooray. That means... It can't be Mr. Delight dressed up in mask to mask in this photo. Ha! <laughs> it looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good old cup of joe. So then... Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be master mask. Good job you did it! Yeah! That's enough. Came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man for the second time. Besmirching him with the title of thief. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment. But before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. We did it. All right, cool. Everything worked out, kind of. Court is now adjourned. Yeah, only one day. We didn't have to go... Do we even use the data chart for the camera? Hmm. Nick, you did it. You were right after all. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy. Oh, Miss the light. I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, Miss Delight. I just know I'm blushing. I mean, you could pay me. That's kind of my job. Congratulations, Mr. Nick. Oh, Pearls, I forgot you were here. Got a bad feeling about this. Who is this woman? Oh, she's, she's nobody. She's just, uh... You're blushing. How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya? You should be ashamed of yourself. Slap. Ouch, she slapped me. Um, Pearly. This one is Miss Desiree. Delight. She's our client's wife. <gasps> Mr. Nick! You're even worse than I thought. Going behind the back of your own client. No, you got it all wrong. I'll never forgive you. Ow, double slap. Pearls used double slap. It was super effective. All's well that ends wells, right? Got the sacred urn back, and the thief has been caught. You're so right. It's all thanks to Nicky boy here. Actually, it was you, Miss Delight, that brought us the urn back. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. We won the case. Why does this guy look so glum? Uh, but I'm the thief. Actually, what's the point? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kids some time. He's just got a little touch of the blues. 
You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? I know about feeling blue. What are you doing here? Oh, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Oh, look at that grin. You learned to call my name before you called me buddy. Well, playtime is over. Earlier this morning, the body of Kane Boulard was discovered. Whoa, seriously? That was the CEO, right? Isn't that the name of the CEO at KB Security? Estimated time of death was 1 a.m. of October 12th. You don't mean... That's right, amigo. Same time that cheap little urn was stolen. The CEO of KB Security was being murdered. What are you doing here? Oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? You've forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today. On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office. The scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. Imbrued with rage? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know it. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. Looks like the alibi saved him from being convicted as a thief. It's gonna be the noose that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti-alibi. Can't be the thief because he's at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, oh, but I, I'm a thief, I tell you. Ronda Lott, you're going back to prison again. This time, the charge is much more serious. This time, you'll be tried for murder. What? This can't... This can't be... This can't be possible. I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't through with each other just yet. Surely you won't back down from a challenge. You've never been a coward. Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. Who the heck is he? He be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Well then. Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our client's been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. E.I. Ronnie. I was going to play that up all the way, by the way. What? Arrested for murder on the very same day as declared innocent for larceny? What the heck's going to happen next? Find out next time on the adventures of Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. Saving. And I think that actually will be the end of the stream, because I'm pretty tired. Oh. Okay. You know, I'm glad we found the urn and all. But poor Mr. Light got arrested again. So yeah, much as I would like to keep going, I am getting a little tired. Because it is pretty late. And that's pretty much it, so... Put it of thievery, just in time for murder! Perfect! Because now we gotta go do some investigation. Uh, probably tomorrow. It's a pretty high chance that'll be tomorrow, but who knows? Depends what's going on. But either way, thanks so much for joining me, guys. I will put this up on YouTube soon if you missed any of it. And I hope you enjoyed my bad voice acting. <laughs> and if you didn't, then I am sorry and you can bill me for the hospital later. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And... Next time, we'll figure out what the heck's going on here. Hopefully. Unless it goes to, you've been acquitted for murder. But we know that you stole the CEO's card. And robbed his bank. 